Welcome to 501 Math Eat, where we encourage you to work smart, not hard. On today's problem, we have two triangles that are in white. For the bigger triangle, we know that height is 9 centimeters, and for the smaller triangle, the base is 6 centimeters. Based on that information, we are to find the area of the shaded region. So, to solve this, we will look at the general outline, which is that the area of the orange triangle is equal to the area of this blue triangle minus the area of that green triangle. We'll come back to that later. First, we will now look at similar triangles. We have to find out if these two triangles in white are similar triangles, and if they are, then we'll use the properties of similar triangles to solve this question. So, first, if that angle is x, then that angle will also be x, because those are what we call vertical opposite angles. Also, if this angle here is 90 minus x, then that angle will also be 90 minus x. But why is that 90 minus x? Well, as we know, the three angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees. So if we subtract the 90 and the x from 180, we're left with 90 minus x. So we have that the three angles in the small white triangle is equal to the three angles in the large white triangle. Therefore, these two triangles are similar triangles. Now, what does that mean visually? It means that we can take this smaller triangle, flip it around, turn it over, and it will fit exactly here inside of the large right triangle. And in particular, it will just be a scaled up version. So, now that we see that these two triangles are similar, what does that really mean? Well, corresponding sides of similar triangles are in the same ratio. So if let's say we label the height of the smaller triangle H and the base of the larger white triangle X, then that means that the ratio of the base of the large triangle to the base of the small triangle is the same ratio as the height of the large triangle to the height of the small triangle. So that's expressed in this equation x over 6 is equal to 9 over h. Cross multiplying, we'll get that x times h is equal to 9 times 6. Or in other words, xh is equal to 54. Let's hold on to that for later. Getting back to our overall strategy, we're finding the area of this small green triangle, which is given by half base times height. So that is half times 6 times h, which is just 3h. And we're then subtracting that from the area of that large blue triangle. So again, that's going to be half base times height. But in this instance, the base isn't just x or just 6. It is actually x plus 6. So using the distributive law, we'll multiply half times x times h. And we'll multiply half times 6 times h. The half times 6 times h simplifies to 3h. So when we subtract the area of the green triangle from the area of the blue triangle, we'll notice that we have 3h minus 3h. Those will cancel out and we're left with just half xh. But we don't know what the base of the large triangle is. We don't know what the height of the small triangle is. But that is irrelevant because as we had from before, x times h is 54. So if we substitute that into our formula, it will just be half times 54 and we get 27. And that's the answer. So, I just want to remind you to work smart, not hard. And if you found this video useful, please hit that like button, share with others, and subscribe if you're new here.